trick is done. He begins by pounding on a wooden crate to prove that the sides are solid. Definitely a real crate. Right on cue, there comes the assistant. She is put inside a large red bag, which is tied tightly at the top, making it seem like she can't get out. Now the bag is placed into the crate. The lid is put on and fastened down with ropes. Sometimes magicians will use chains or locks. It doesn't matter. It's all an illusion. To prove that the crate is solid enough to support his weight, the magician stands on top of it. Then the curtain is raised and he gets inside. The curtain goes down and he begins to flirt with his assistants. The curtain goes up again. More diversionary tactics. The curtain goes up for the last time. And magically the magician is turned into one of his assistants. Remember? She was the one inside the bag. Now it's time to open the crate. The ropes are untied. And who do you think is inside the bag? You got it. The masked magician. How did he do it? Like we told you, this one's pretty complicated. To help you understand, here's a better look. We saw the assistant being placed into a large red bag, which was tied at the top. What you didn't realize is the bottom of the bag has a zipper. She's unzipping it right now. Once the assistant gets out of the bag, she reaches through a hole in the bottom of the crate and pulls on the rope to make it seem as if the lid is tightly secured. It really isn't. The extra slack will later allow her to slide the lid off the crate and make a quick escape. See? When the curtain goes up for the first time, the assistant climbs out and hides between the curtain and the crate while the magician puts one foot inside. The curtain goes up again and in goes the other foot. As the curtain goes up for the third time, he quickly climbs inside and closes the lid as his assistant is revealed on top of the crate. The timing has to be just right in order to look like an instant metamorphosis. Our magician scrambles to get inside the bag while his assistants rush to untie the ropes. He doesn't have to worry about zipping up the bag since his feet are obscured from view.